okay so now for the back leg so as you can see you already finished the front leg the back leg we're going to do the same as the front leg until the 30 second row okay and then after you reach the 30 second row uh from row 33 until row 41 you're going to do single crochet all around in each row for a total of 16 stitches in each row okay so please uh do the same as the the way we did the back leg okay so do the same way that like the way we did the back leg until the 32nd row and then from there from row 33 until row 41 you do single crochet all the way around okay so it'll look something like this so it's quite straight compared to the back leg that we did okay so then after that i'm going to show you how to make the neck okay so for the neck uh we're going to start with the chain 28 so we're going to do chain one two three four five six seven okay and then you're going to continue with the chain until you have a chain 28 okay so after you're done with the chain 28 uh, we're going to come to the first chain here at the very end and slip stitch to form a ring okay so we're just going to slip stitch over there okay and then after that uh, I'm going to put my marker over here okay so after that uh, in the next two rows we are going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 28 stitches okay so I'm going to start from the very end where I slip stitched and then I'm going to do single crochet one and then I'm going to continue doing single crochet all the way around two three four five okay so do single crochet all the way around in this row and the next row so i'll see you when you're done with uh row three so that we do the row four together okay so remember the chain counts as a row one so this one that we are doing is row two and the next one will be row three okay so we'll do uh finish when you finish the row three we'll do the row four together okay so <clears throat> after you're done with the third row in our fourth row we're going to do 12 single crochet then decrease and repeat two times for a total of 26 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve and then you're going to decrease okay and then you're going to repeat that one more time so you're going to do 12 single crochet and decrease okay so after you're done with that uh in the next two rows which is row five and row six you're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 26 stitches in each row so i'll see you when you're done with the sixth row so that we start the seventh row okay so after you're done with that uh in our next row which is our seventh row we're going to start by doing five single crochet so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five okay and then after that we are going to decrease Okay, and then after doing the decrease you're going to do 11 single crochets so we're going to do one two three 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, and then after eleven single crochet, we are going to decrease again. Okay, and then we'll do single crochet in the remaining six stitches. So we'll have a total of 24 stitches. So we do single crochet, single crochet, and continue all the way. Okay, and then after that, uh, in our eighth row, we're going to start by doing 18 single crochets. So we're going to do single crochet. One, two, three. Okay, so continue until you have 18 single crochets. Okay, so after you are done with the 18 single crochets, so here we're going to do a chain one and then we're going to turn around on the other side. So after we turn, we're going to do single crochet in the next 14 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so continue until you have 14 single crochets. Okay, so after you're done with the 14 single crochets, we're going to do a chain one and again we're going to turn to the other side okay and then after we turn we're going to do 18 single crochets so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen okay and then you're going to continue over here fifteen sixteen 17 and 18 okay so this is how it should look like okay and then after you're done with that uh, we are going to we're going to go to continue on the other side okay so I'm going to mark over here okay and then I'm going to do uh, 10 single crochet and then decrease and repeat all the way around for a total of 22 stitches okay so I'm going to do single crochet one two three four five six Okay, and then I'm going to continue over here on the top six seven eight nine ten okay and then I'm going to decrease Okay, and then you're going to repeat again one more time so 10 single crochet and decrease at the end okay so after you're done with that uh, in the next two rows which is row uh, 12 and row 13 we're going to do single crochet all around in each row for a total of 22 stitches in each row okay so I'll see you when you're done with the 13th row so that we do the 14th row together Okay, so after you're done with that, uh, in our 14th row, we're going to start by doing four single crochets first. So we're going to do single crochet one, two, three, four, 
and then after that we are going to decrease okay and then we're going to do nine single crochets so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five six seven eight nine okay and then we're going to decrease again one more time and then we're going to do single crochet in the remaining five stitches so we'll have a total of 20 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four and five okay so after you're done with that uh in the next in the next two rows which is row 15 and 16 you're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 20 stitches in each row so i'll see you when you're done with the 16th row so that we do the 17th row together okay so after you're done with that uh in our 17th row we're going to do eight single crochet then decrease and repeat again for a total of 18 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five six seven eight okay and then after that we are going to decrease okay and then you're going to repeat that one more time so you're going to do eight single crochet and decrease okay so after you're done with that uh in the next two stitches uh two rows which is row 18 and row 19 you're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 18 stitches in each row so i'll see you when you're done with the 18th row uh 19th row so that we do the 20th row together okay so after that uh in our 20th row we are going to do uh two you're going to start by doing three single crochets so we're going to do single crochet one Okay, and then single crochet two and single crochet three and then after that we're going to decrease and then we're going to do uh, seven single crochet so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five six and seven and then after that we're going to decrease again one more time and then we're going to do four single crochets so we're going to do single crochet one two three and four okay so after that uh in the next six rows which is from row 21 until row 26 we are going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 16 stitches in each row so when you're done with the 26th row you're going to cut off the yarn and leave it long enough for sewing and then after that i'll show you how to join all the parts together okay guys so as you can see i've already finished attaching the parts together okay so we're gonna start with how i attached uh here on the head so you remember the nostrils that we made so i just pushed them inside and also um for the eyes i attached them between the one two three four five six seven eight nine uh, 10 uh, between the 10th and 11th row from the yellow yarn where the yellow yarn starts and also here I attach them uh, you have to make sure they are at the center of the leg and I attach them one two three four five six 
six stitches apart uh, for the horns, the two of them. And for the ears, I attach them right below the horns like that. Okay, so attaching the legs is a le is the most tricky part. But all you're gonna do is you have to keep uh, you have to keep them. You have to use pins before you attach them fully, completely, or make sure they look good. Uh, before you attach them so for the back legs you attach them at the very back of the leg so you have to make sure the part that goes inside with the bump is uh, the back is the back side and also the same with the other one and uh, the front legs also uh, I attach them here as you can see at the very front of the of the body and then after that uh, for the neck you have to make sure also the side with, with the bump is at the bottom part and the slim side is the upper part where you attach the head like that and the head you attach it also at the very end here of the neck so the most as you can see the way I attached it for the neck also if mine I didn't put any wire because it's steady with just the stuffing but if you want your giraffe to be more steady you can put some wires inside okay and also here for the for the dots or for this the brown colors I just did a six single crochet in the magic ring then I increased in the second row and then in the third row which is the last row I did single crochet then increase and I repeated all the way around okay and also here uh, I put this brown uh, chain over here because this is the part where I attached the neck and the body so there's a little bump over here I thought it doesn't look neat so that's why I put it here uh, I put the little necklace over there okay and that's it guys so I hope you enjoyed this pattern if you have any questions you can ask them in the comments below and if you don't understand the pattern also you can ask in the comments below oh I almost forgot to tell you about the tail so the tail I did a chain 20 or just do any chain that you think it's fit for the giraffe and then I did a single row or uh, one row of single crochets and that's why I attached it here at the very back okay so that's it guys so that is our giraffe this is how it looks like I really like the way it timed out and I hope you enjoyed this pattern too please like my video and also watch my other videos and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe to my channel until next time bye